Today I'm going to be telling you about the book I most recently read, which is The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. Atwood catches our attention right off the bat by opening with the line, Ten days after the war ended, my sister Laura drove a car off a bridge. She keeps our attention throughout the entire novel because there's just so much going on. Honestly, it's a little bit overwhelming. And this it's kind of hard to summarize, if I'm going to be honest, but I will do my best. Um, this book was published in 2000 and it was published under the historical fiction genre. However, we get a little bit of romance. We also get some science fiction, a little bit of fantasy. And I would say the work's kind of a mystery within itself that I, we as readers have to slowly put pieces together as Atwood gives them to us. Um, it's three stories embedded into one. The first one is of Iris Chase, who is an 80 year old woman living alone in Canada. She's alone because her mother and father, her husband, her sister and her daughter have all passed on. And so she's writing a manuscript and the manuscript bounces back and forth between her life as an 80 year old and her retelling her life growing up in the 1900s. She was born to Norval Chase who owned a button making factory, which was very profitable during the war. But then as the war ended and the Great, Depre Great Depression came along, um, their wealth slowly faded. And so Iris and her sister Laura were born into a very wealthy family. And then slowly, as they didn't have the money, we see how this affects their life. The second frame is of a novel, which is titled The Blind Assassin. And it was written, as far as we know, in the beginning of the book by Iris' sister, Laura. And this novel is about two unnamed characters, a man and a woman, who are having an affair. And so many people think that Laura was also having an affair. And this was her way of telling the people this. And then within that story, the two characters that are having the affair are creating their own story, which is where the science fiction comes in because they create a story with far off planets and made up characters and all things of that sort. So hopefully you're not too confused. Um, let's see what well, I would rate the book. I rated it four out of five stars. It is a lot to handle, as I said, but it's very satisfying in the end to see how everything comes together. And I don't know, it just leaves you with a lot to think about. Um, throughout the book, Atwood looks into like deceiving and how people may not be what you really think they are. She also talks a little bit about how women are disempowered and how they were treated throughout the war and their roles. Let's see. Would I recommend it? I would say yes. Um, the, read the writing itself is very simple to read. It's the like content that gets to be overwhelming. And it's really not that overwhelming. It's more just your brain trying to put the pieces together. So I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a book. It is kind of long. It's 521 pages. So it does take some time, but it's a good read. Let's see. Yeah, what did I think of the author? I really liked her. This was the first Atwood book I read. Um, obviously, she is known for The Handmaid's Tale, which I have not read. But... This book really set the standard tie for her. So, um, I'm gonna close with one other quote from the book that I really liked. She, this comes towards the end of the book. Um, it says, I could have chosen ignorance, but I did what you would have done, what you've already done if you've read this far. I chose knowledge instead. Most of us will, we'll choose knowledge no matter what. We'll maim ourselves in the process. We'll stick our hands into the flames for it if necessary. Curiosity is not our only motive. Love or grief or despair or hatred is what drives us on. So with that, I hope you also choose knowledge and choose to read The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood.